where I set out to try and understand how the Brooklyn Bridge was built. The engineering, yes, but also the human story, which is very complicated and, and dramatic and moving. And I had to teach myself the engineering involved. I found the material, the treasure house of letters and diaries that stowed away in an attic that's supposed to be a mythic uh, experience. I, that happened to me. I found all those letters and diaries of the Roebling family, which were, were, they were responsible for the bridge, the design of the building of the bridge, in a closet uh, up in the attic of a library in upstate New York at Troy uh, at Troy, uh, New York, at the RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. And the material was untouched. It hadn't been uh, cataloged. It hadn't been sorted out. Hundreds, thousands of items stuffed away in a big storage closet. And I had to unscramble it all. It was like uh, the, the ultimate uh, tangled fishing line that I had to slowly uh, put back the way it was meant to be. And then I had to try and understand it. And it took the better part of several years just figuring that out. Now, if I had gone to a lecture or if I'd have been given a textbook, I could have absorbed what was in the lecture, I could have absorbed what was in the textbook, and I could have had it in my head long enough to take the test to pass the course. But probably six months, maybe a year, certainly six years later, it would be gone out of my head. But it's now been almost 25 years since I did the work on that project, and I could sit down and take a test on all of that and do very well right now because I had to do it myself.